All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So early this morning, Global got a new data download. And while I am a little bit late to this, I know there's some people out there who still don't know exactly what's going on. So this video is really for those people. Now, before we get into it, I wanna give a quick shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all these assets. If you guys aren't already following him, then definitely go ahead and do so. And with all that said, let's scroll down a little bit here and see what we got. Okay, so these are the translations for the next Dokkan Festival unit on Global, the AGL Kid Gohan. So we have his SSR art, we have the TUR, as well as some assets for his super attacks. So yeah, that is gonna be the next Dokkan Fest. No Global first, unfortunately. I was kind of hoping for that, but it's okay. This Gohan is really, really good. And we also have the side unit for his banner, which is the first ever Garlic Junior card. So of course we have the SSR, as well as the TUR right here. And then from there we have a new STR Piccolo, and I'm pretty sure this is a free-to-play Piccolo from a story event. And he is a Heavenly Events um, support unit, so there you go, new Piccolo. And from there, we have the uh, labels for the Heavenly Events category, as well as the Dokkan Awakening Medal for the Kid Gohan. We have the assets for the new upcoming Extreme Z Battle, global first Extreme Z Battle for the Giant Apes. So there's the Giant Ape Edition uh, event logo. We have the art for the three uh, Giant Ape units getting Extreme Z Awakenings, and then also some additional assets that we'll probably see uh, during the event for the Great Ape Vegeta, for the Great Ape Raditz, as well as the Great Ape uh, Kid Goku, which you'll see in a second uh, right here. So yeah, global first Extreme Z Awakenings for the three Giant Ape units. No global first Dokkan Fest, but I'll take this. I'll take this. And of course, we have the Extreme Z Battle Medals or Extreme Z Awakening Medals for the uh, Kid Goku, for the Vegeta, and then also for the Raditz. Okay, so there you go. Assets for the next Extreme Z Battle. And then we also have some EZA sticker masks for all three Giant Ape units. And then we also have the sticker masks for the Giant Ape forms, obviously. And after that, there is a brand new Ginyu Force uh, login bonus. So from what I can tell, this is very similar to the Hercules like pounding gifts, where you get like a random reward every day for the duration of the event, and you can get between like one stone most of the time to up to seven stones. So yeah, we got a bunch of different screens. These are like the screen cracks. I'm get screen cracks. I'm guessing for when you get lucky and you get the seven stones. And uh, what else do we have here? Some more assets for the new login bonus, random login bonus thing. So yeah, pretty cool stuff, right? Basically, think of it as the Hercule uh, Pounding Gifts thing, except with the Ginyu Force. And uh, some more assets right here. There's actually a lot of assets for this login bonus, man. It's crazy. Okay, and then from there, we have a new Dokkan Festival ticket. So this is going to be used for the... Um, Kid Gohan banner, and I'm assuming that you're gonna have to buy them from the Pilaf's Trove, or I guess there's no Pilaf's Trove anymore. Kind of sad. Yeah, no more Pilaf's Trove. You buy these from just that like special section in the stone shop, and uh, usually these are pretty good value. So if you guys are planning to spend some money on the Kid Gohan banner, then I would recommend to pick these up. But otherwise, um, if you want to skip, then obviously don't worry about it, right? So Dokkan Festival ticket for the Kid Gohan, and we have also a new sticker for that uh, Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken Goku like figure release collaboration with the New York Comic Con thing. So we're all getting this special sticker that can be used specifically for a Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Or is it Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken Goku? No, I think it's just Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Yeah, so new special sticker that everyone's going to get, and uh, that's... Pretty much it guys, that was the data download for today, but before we go, obviously I want to quickly go over the details for the uh, three giant ape units 
that are getting Extreme Z Awakenings. Now, unfortunately, for some reason, um, DBZ Space is just, or not DBZ Space, uh, the Dokkan Wiki is all messed up right now, and I can't seem to access it properly, like the assets aren't showing up, the text is not showing up, but luckily, we do have Luka Dokkan here, who provided us with some translations on his feed, so let me just quickly find that. Uh, okay, here we go. So for the EZA Kid Great Ape Goku, his leader skill is going to be all types Q plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 70%, super attack, raises attack and defense, and causes supreme damage, and passive is attack and defense plus 80% at the start of turn, plus an additional attack and defense plus 80%, when performing a super attack, medium chance of launching an additional super attack when HP is 80% or less, and then turns into Giant Ape when conditions are met. Okay, so Kid Goku is looking very, very strong. Obviously, stacking attack and defense is always great. And then he's getting uh, attack and defense plus 160% when super attacking. And he also has a medium chance to launch two supers, or at least two supers, when uh, HP is 80% or less, obviously with hidden potential, you could launch three supers, right? And then we have the EZA Great 8 Vegeta, all types Q plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 70%, raises attack and defense for one turn, and causes supreme damage, and passive is attack and defense plus 80%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 80%, when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack plus 80%, when HP is 80% or less, and then turns into Giant Ape, when conditions are met. And then we have the EZ8 Raditz, all types Q plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 50%, greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and then passive is attack and defense plus 80%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 15% per key sphere obtained, plus an additional attack plus 80% when performing a super attack, if HP is 80% or less, and then turns into giant ape when conditions are met. Okay, so between the three, I personally like the Kid Goku the most, mainly because he stacks attack and defense, which uh, obviously is better than only raising for one turn, unless there's some kind of mistake, right? Because like the other guys only raise for one turn attack and defense, whereas the Kid Goku seems to stack infinitely. So I'm going to assume the translation right now is correct, but if there is a mistake, then that does change things. But I also like the fact that he has the chance to perform an additional super when you're below 80%. And if you combine that with his stacking ability, it just allows him to stack even faster. And, um, you know, for the Raditz and the Vegeta, I mean, they both look really strong too, especially if you're below 80% HP. They're both going to be hitting very, very hard. And when you compare, just like how bad they were before the EZ8 to now these details, there's really no comparison, man. I mean, especially the Great Ape Vegeta. Like, he was unusable. He was unusable before the CCA. Even with the Dokkan Awakening, he was unusable. So now that he can actually be run on teams, um, it's good to see, man. It's good to see. So those are the three Giant Ape, Great Ape, Extreme Z Awakenings coming to, once again, Global First. And uh, the last thing I'll quickly go over is this we got the thank you gift for um the worldwide celebration slash 350 million download celebration this year and as expected we got 30 stones we got the uh, new bulma support memory and i think that might be it yeah i think i think that's it but uh the effect for this new support memory is recovers 35 percent hp at the fourth or on the fourth turn from start of battle or when HP is 40% or less with a pure Saiyans category ally on the team once only. And we also have the animation here, which I believe Luca posted. So let me just find that real quick. Uh, okay, here we go. You know what? Let me actually turn off this music. And let's play this.
All right, yeah, so a fun little interaction between Bulma and, and Vegeta right there. And uh, yeah, guys, that's going to be today's video. That's pretty much all we got from today's data download. Look forward to the Great Ape Extremes The Awakenings, the uh, Garlic Jr., the Kid Gohan, and a few other fun things like the um, Ginyu Force login bonus and stuff like that. And... I guess that's going to be it for today's video, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to Luca for the translations. Thank you to Proton for the assets. And as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.